Hello my friends and welcome to episode 102 of The Wanderer. Uh, since the last episode, Inter lost 3-0 uh, after we beat Valencia 4-2, which puts us second in Champions Cup, or Champions League rather, Group A on goal difference. Uh, or it might even be head-to-head -head now actually with Man United being ahead on points. Um, so anything but a defeat today. I can't actually remember what was the last we played in our but quicker here so last time we played in our so anything worse than a two goal defeat would see us anything better than a two goal defeat I think takes us through so we're in pretty good shape uh, since the last episode we played uh, Marseille with one through an own goal um, nice 1-0 victory there we then played uh, Nice and we won 4-0 much more our kind of thing. Kukera coming off the bench, Bonnet back into the team, starting to get back to strength. Philipson and Tib De Bruyne for scoring the goals. Tib De Bruyne scoring a hat trick. Before we played St. Etienne, Tib De Bruyne with a brace before they got a man sent off. The game was done and dusted by then. Anyway, that leaves us top of the league when it loads. Uh, six, sorry, five points clear of Lille, seven clear of Monaco. 8 clear of Paris Saint-Germain puts us in great shape as you see Tib De Bruyne 12 goals puts him joint second top goal scorer in the league um, Kukera is also reasonably up here I think he's about 7th overall with 8 goals uh, giving us one of the more lethal attacks in the league uh, right now uh, of course Kukera hasn't quite had the game time but De Bruyne's goal, game, uh, goal to minute ratio has actually got better uh, Johan Bonny up there for assists as well. So we're in pretty good shape. We're going to jump into that game and hopefully we can progress to the knockout stages of the Champions League for the first time in this series. So this is the lineup we're taking today. We've got Jan Polarsbeck in goal with Zukic, Rabio, and Rocha in for Ruke in defence. Aluc and Pellegrini make up our fullback slots with Adam and Gomez as preferred midfield. De Bruyne, Kukera and Tsunami starts up top with a preferred Bonnet. Uh, unfortunately, Bonnet picked up a knock in the last game. He does make the bench, but he's on the bench just to make up the numbers, really. Don't see him getting any game time in this game. Uh, so, um, I'm just going to go give them a bit of luck. Excuse me, hope we can pull off an upset. As it says, we are away from home, of course. So that maybe changes things a little bit. Um, but hopefully we can nick a result here. As I said, I think it's going by head-to-head. -head, so we won 4-2 in the last game at home. So we should be in decent shape. But even better shape if Kukera or uh, De Bruyne took a shot there and hit the target. The goalkeeper had to have worked, um, but both of them a dally just a little bit. Diamaco launches in Rocha away. Aluch looks like he's first to react to this. Launches it straight up for Kukera, and we're on the break with De Bruyne. And it must be more to. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with Tsunami. For, for a damn goal for Toulouse. 1 0 on the night. In, in very, very good shape on aggregate. And, do you know what, I think 5-3 might actually do us as well as a defeat. <laughs> Not that we're going to play for a 5-3 defeat. That'd be crazy. Lofaso, DeMarco. Um, I'm just trying to work it out because that would give us a way goals rule, wouldn't it? Um, it was a barrel. And it goes, oh, it's one all. Martinez just got in front of his man. Pollersbeck should have probably came for it. Um, but didn't. Said he tried to do something weird. The defender stood and watched. And Martinez, I think it was, jumps in. Only needed a touch at that point. In not even really the right direction. In any direction, it wasn't away from goal. And it was in the back of the net. Gilardini brings it forward. Diamaco back to Gilardini. He's just been getting marshalled, but he's not really been marshalled very well. Rocha heads away. But it's fouled for Joe Mario. It's over the bar. From the Portuguese man, I've got a bit just covering my screen. I'm just going to knock that down. Uh, so this leaves us on ten points. Well, it's ten points apiece for us and Inter, um, with 
at present. Oh, that's going to... Is that going to be offside? I don't know. It's technically... It's been disallowed. It's came off an interplay. This frustrates me so much. It was clearly a shot. The interplayers blocked it. And for me, that was a touch that was deliberate into the path of Rabio. That's my opinion. My understanding of the laws in the game, which isn't an expert by any stretch of the imagination, is it's often an interplayer. Martinez, João Mario played a cross for Azubayao. João Mario and El Faso, big crunch and tackle. And Pollard Becks had a howler for 2 1 down. Do you know what? A defeat's actually not good enough for us. Because um, they'd have points. So, defeat isn't good enough. A draw is good enough. <laughs> um, so, I have to avoid defeat. Um, and right now, we're losing. Undeservedly, I think. I mean, the stats maybe highlight that they've been slightly better, slightly more aggressive. Expect a much better showing in the second half. De Bruyne to Rabio. Aluch. Adam launches it forward. Finds nobody. Um, but I feel we've been the better team um, as much as the stats don't show that in terms of shots and shots on target that's played forward um, also that disallowed goal really really irks me don't think it was a correct decision um, fitness wise we're starting to tire I'm going to bring on Weston McKenzie for Gomez Aluch and Claudio Gomez we the cross for Tsunami, it's over the bar. <sighs> Team De Bruyne starting to tire as well, so I'm going to bring Sung on. Try and just get some fresh legs out there. Team De Bruyne with the guy that maybe you're relying on now, but don't see it happening. Gilardini, he's got men around him, finds Diamacchio. He's also got the same people around him, really, but he's covered a bit of distance. Tsunami wins it, though. Doing the defensive leg work, not where I want him, but he's won the ball here. Zukic, Aluch picks it up, forward into Team De Bruyne. It's a poor ball, well it was a decent ball, just his teammates didn't react. Diamaco runs right into Luca Pellegrini and Tsunami to Pellegrini. Weston McKenzie, he's got a pass in him and he finds a good one into Tsunami towards Kukera. Oh, it's a great save. Scuffet didn't see that from any sort of distance and he's managed to hold on, well, push it wide. We've got another really, really tired player. Who is it? It's Pellegrini himself. We're going to bring on Gonzalo Rodriguez. He's good for a goal as well, isn't he? Pellegrini for Tsunami. Weston McKenzie launches across to Aluch. Soon. Good ball for Aluch, who's latched onto it towards Tsunami. Can't find him. Adam down to Weston McKenzie. Shot blocked, falls for Aluch. Back to Aluch from McKenzie now. Whipped across, Tsunami can't miss from there. We're going back through. You can't disallow that one, ref. Ah, oh, great bit of play from us there. Will we concede with the tactical change? Yes, we will, because he's knackered. So nervous right now. I really, really am. All we've got to do is avoid defeat. Man United still drawn against Valencia, which is interesting. Kukera with this free kick, it's over the top. Not a very good free kick there at all. Positioning was wrong, height was wrong. Right, no silly late goals. Barrow into El Bactui. Played across. DeMarco, Martinez, just go through him, go through him, go through him, I don't care. Barrow, oh, he's found DeMarco in space and that's a decent ball in. It's hit the bar. Zukic away. We're going to make some subs here. We're going to bring McKenzie back. But you know what? We're going to go a formation kind of like this. Uh, Adam, you should be able to do something like as a Tecarista, I think. Um, defensive. Um, stop looking for the underlap. Pass into space, uh, waste time, fine. Stop working about the box, just pump it forward, I don't care now. Um, and go route one, be more disciplined, stick to positions. Uh, we'll bring you back as well, we'll bring you back. Um, 
like that. In fact, I'm going to put you here as a deep line playmaker on support. Bring you back and play you as a shadow striker. Do the same with you. I have Kukera just in front. Um, I mean, this is like the narrowest of the narrowest formations. Oh, that would have been a world day as well. <laughs> I mean, we've got just about everyone back that we can. We can't make any subs, which is kind of... My brain's literally going, make a defensive sub, make a defensive sub. And there's just no defensive subs because I've got no subs left. Kukera. Oh, he's lost it. He just needed to knock that forward. We had men bursting forward for some reason. Pollersbeck launches. Soon. And Kukera. He's got nobody with him though, of course. Aluch. Adam. Oh, he's found Soon in space. They've committed men. It's full time. We're through to the last 16, boys. It was a bit stressful towards the end. It's the most defensive I think I've played. Good comeback, lads. Uh, it's enough for me. It's enough for me. Uh, so, when are we coming back? Um, that staff. Ignore that. Uh, we are going to come back. My brain says come back for Claremont, but it's really not a big game. Um, do we have any big games here? Set 80 in, maybe. Um, do you know what? Let's come back for Paris Saint Germain. It's pretty much at the end of the transfer window. It's a number of games in between. It's going to take me a while to get there. Should be able to before Friday. So come back for that episode because I will work hard to do that. If you enjoyed this episode or you just want to celebrate us getting into the last 16 of the Champions League for the first time in a series, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time. <laughs>